yeah here comes that example that i was talking about and this is this is uh, specific to the polymer manufacturing industry now there is a company which makes uh, polymers and uh, well they they license the technology uh, from china which assured them a product purity of 90% and the product uh, sold at a value of uh, 45000 us dollars per ton so so they were able to establish the quality parameters and get a 90% purity and they they built a market uh, around that but soon they had customers who demanded 95% product purity and uh, you know with the 95% the same same product could be sold at $50,000 a ton so it was virtually a 10% increase in the value if you were able to improve the uh, quality or the purity of the product and this is this was a high volume product so we were talking about 55000 tons per year now this customer as i said they licensed the technology from china they got the equipment along with the technology and well um, they were actually struggling to make the shift from 90 to 95 percent uh, that's when they approached us we looked at the mixing equipment design we looked at their process parameters and we worked upon things that we felt could help improve uh, the process and you know through a through a collaborative effort and changes in some equipment design we were able to main, you know obtain 95 percent purity of the product and you can imagine you know how much the profitability of this company sold uh, you know without without any major investment so profitability and competitive advantage uh, are dependent upon subtle improvements in product quality through gains in mixing performance and efficiency and you know as engineers uh, certainly at all the times you know we are expected to improve productivity improve product quality you know manufacturing efficiency so mixing is one area that we can certainly look